morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. All right, guys, we are gonna do a day in the life today for our next hostile video. It's been a little while since we did a day in the life, and of course, these are always really, really fun. Show you guys what a day in the life of pro bodybuilder Nathan Epler looks like today. So we've got a lot on the list. Uh, it's a little bit after 9 a.m., so we are gonna start off the day with some fasted cardio. I'm still trying to get in my fasted cardio um, five to six days a week, especially through the off season as the appetite starts to dip, um, especially as the food ramps up. We definitely wanna keep digestion on point and keep all the food moving through. So I'm gonna do about 25 minutes on cardio. And then after that, like I said, we got a full day. We've got a haircut, we've got some meetings a workout um, and of course we're going to stop at Starbucks and get some coffee so um, that's it we're just going to take you through the day and show you guys you know maybe some of my meals what we're eating we'll just talk about some stuff and give you guys a little insight view on a day in the life with me so we're at my gym right now AMF American Muscle Factory and we're going to get this cardio going let's go So excited to uh, get into the open class. Obviously, it's going to take me longer to grow into that, but I'm really excited for the potential, and I know what my capabilities are, and I'm very confident in that. So I know with time and consistency and staying dedicated to the goal, we'll be able to make the Open Olympia here in a couple of years and uh, really start making a name. And, I'm just uh, super excited and that's what keeps me motivated on days like today where it's cold. We wanted to stay in bed and relax and chill. You know, we've got, there's just big goals. And when you got big goals, it takes uh, big sacrifices to get to those goals. We are almost done with cardio now. Definitely feels good. It's like 30 degrees outside, so feels good to start my morning and get a little bit of a sweat. Plus, uh, as you guys probably know, I, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. As you guys know, I uh, run a coaching business, so this is a good time for me to uh, get on my emails and my uh, client check-ins and I'll start kind of working through my client check-ins a little bit in the morning especially when the day is is pretty packed full like we've got like i said we have some meetings this afternoon and things so it's going to make it a little tougher to get back to my clients right away and i want to make sure it stay on that so you guys will kind of see me through the day today as i'm eating meals and in between meetings i'll be jumping on my phone and uh, working with my clients on their check-ins and stuff Right now, I don't have, I think we just, I had some clients, three clients compete this past weekend, and I think that was the end for the year. So I don't think we've got anyone else in prep on the team, which is nice. It definitely slows things down a little bit. And uh, I mean, we're getting into the holiday season now, so it's just, uh, things will start slowing down. Clients are all pretty much in the off season. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna finish up. I got a couple more minutes, answer another client update, and then we are off to Starbucks. Gotta figure out what the wife wants for Starbucks. Wants for Starbucks. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go to Starbucks. Because we're recording, so of course we gotta go to Starbucks. <laughs> what you want? Okay. You're normal. Yes. 
I can do that. Yes. Hazel not. Okay. Can you, um, that sounds good. And can you shoot that for me? That over there. Starbucks and then we'll head back so I can eat breakfast. Alright, love you, bye. She's got a complicated one. That one's not too bad. Alright, you guys need to leave comments because Christian here, my videographer, does not drink Starbucks. <laughs> Guys, leave a comment if that's crazy. Or if you guys don't drink Starbucks, then leave a comment about that too. All right, let's get this Starbucks order here. Cheers. There's the wife's. That guy was asking for a business card. Let me see if I got it. What though? I don't have business cards on me, but guess what? Free day passes, sucker. That works too. I'm gonna go give these to him real quick. I don't know if they're like not letting people in or what, but. Uh, but... Well, I'm hungry, so it's time to eat some breakfast and get the day rolling because it is like 10.15. Sorry, my dogs are having a whole fit right now. <laughs> smoking no cigarettes. Cleo needs to quit smoking the cigarettes. My dog. Quit hacking. And we've got the Christmas decorations going up. Thanks to my wife. Thanks, Ben. I got your coffee. Huh? I got the goods. I got the goods. <laughs> Christian's here, Lex. Yeah. Say hi. Hey. Hey. I'm just getting ready for my doggy daycare job. She's oh, fun. Work. Yeah, she's got to go to work here. That's also a dream job right there. Right? <laughs> Petting dogs. You guys should comment below if you guys put your Christmas decorations up before Thanksgiving. I definitely do too. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. One month is just not long enough. No. You, you need, need all the lights, all the decorations. My mom's tradition is put it right before Thanksgiving. Right before? <laughs> right before Thanksgiving. That's good. I kind of waited. Ish. Yeah, we tried. We tried. <laughs> secret that I've shown you guys before the nacho cheddar popcorn seasoning on eggs is freaking fire I actually don't like to eat eggs any other way I've become so accustomed to this that I just don't like eggs unless they have this on there so whenever I'm whenever I'm prepping or traveling I always bring this. Usually I bring a smaller one of these, but I always bring it with me. Okay. Let's get these going here. Got 
some low sugar jam. Gotta make things taste good, especially in the off season. butter I know it has calories I get that off but season. it's off season right like I said off season so I just hit it with usually three or four sprays just enough Man's gotta grow. Mm. my weight was good this morning yeah 239.6 yeah yeah so right now I'm in my health phase um, and really just focusing on my health and trying to keep my weight up and not drop. And I was really surprised by the way, it was 239.6 this morning. I'm really happy about that. Probably that Chick fil A last night. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm -hmm. That was my idea. Uh -huh. All the carbs. <laughs> Makes people happy. Can you do it one handed though? That's the like the chef test. You want me to try? Try it. I'll try it for the camera. This looks like a good one. Ready? I'm gonna go for one hand. Got it, sucker! Woo! Booyah! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Now watch, there's going to be a shitload of eggshells in that one. <laughs> I'm going to be crunching. See? Right. It's all for the one-handed egg crack. <laughs> I would say it's all for the gram, but... You want me to leave the eggs out for you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you want egg whites too? Yes, please. All right. Okay. All right. There's meal one, so we're going to get this down. And we've got about 30 minutes or so, so I'm going to eat really quick. I'm going to gather up my um, food for the day and jump in the shower real quick. So we've got a lot, a lot to do, a little bit of time. And then I've got a haircut right around 11.30. And we're going to keep this day going and go to the gym after that because we've got some meetings and stuff. But yeah, so this is meal one. Again, 220 grams of egg whites. Three whole eggs and four English muffins that I've already kind of started eating. So let's get this down. I'll kind of start um, getting some food put together for my diet for the day. I'll show you guys my Zilla meals and how I'm packing those up, and we're gonna keep this going. All right. So as you guys know, I'm now working with Zilla meals for all of my meal prep stuff, which has been an absolute lifesaver especially just with how busy things are with my businesses and the gym and training. It just takes away so much time that I have to cook. So I've got all my Zilla meals in here right now. You guys can see those. So that one is uh, 93, seven ground beef. Got a couple pounds of that still left over for the rest of the week. We got, yeah, we got some red potatoes. These things are so good. So we've got, I think probably two or three pounds of red potatoes to go. And then cooked chicken. So I gotta take one of these inside and heat this up for my meals coming up. All right, 
We're here. Whoa. Running a little bit late per usual. It's my thing. Fashionably late. So hopefully my barber's not pissed at me. We're not too bad. We're like eight or ten minutes behind. So we're gonna park and get in here and get freshened up because my hair and beard grow so freaking fast. Alrighty, let's go do this. So, got my uh, videographer here filming with me today. Sorry, I brought a little bit. Yeah, I can see him in his seat. Filming a day in the life stuff, so just get. You got felonies in here, man. Oh, we got to hide the camera, hide the camera. <laughs> All right, all done with my haircut. Hopefully I look fresh. My barber makes me look pretty. <laughs> um, feel good, always feel good after getting a haircut. So, super enjoyable. But um, Christian was just, what were you asking me? Uh, what was the whole purpose you went to school? Was it like, did you know you had, you were going to get a gym or? Yeah, so Christian asked uh, about when I went to college, we were talking about my degree, and my degree is in sports management, and my I got a minor in business. And Christian was asking a little bit about the gym, and like, did I always know that I was going to open a gym, or did I always know that I was going to, is that what I went to school for? And the answer is actually no. When I got into college, I was, um, I was actually in athletic training, so I was I was getting into athletic training, but I thought that that had more to do with training, and athletic training is more revolves around rehab, like injury prevention, rehab, um, those kind of things. It's more hands-on medical stuff, and that's just not really my forte. Uh, then the other option was to do an exercise science major and then get into maybe personal training. But at the time, I didn't really think I was going to take personal training or coaching or anything like that full time. I didn't really know a lot about it at the time. This is 2012, so this is 10 years ago. I didn't really know what all being a trainer entailed, and I didn't know how scalable that was at the time. Being 18 years old, 19 years old, I just had no clue. So I didn't think that I wanted to do that full time. And sports management is more of a broad spectrum degree that has a lot to do with facility management, facility design, law and liability, legality, um, management. It also, I had a lot of communications classes. I had a lot of marketing courses. So it gave me a more broad spectrum and I thought, you know, maybe I could get involved with the Colts or maybe I could get involved with a a sports team or facility or something like that and um, that's the reason why I got into sports management originally now as my degree progressed and I was in college I started getting more into bodybuilding I did my first bodybuilding show when I was a junior in college and so then I started thinking more and more about like a gym and I started thinking more about like being a coach and a trainer and um, but all those things seemed very far away I always thought okay I'll open a gym maybe in 10 or 20 years when I have extra money or when I have whatever the reputation or just I just never thought it could happen soon and um, I actually for my business minor my business administration minor the last course I had to take was like a 400 level business I can't remember what it, the course was called but essentially I had to write a business plan and the whole semester was revolved around writing a business plan and the business plan that I wrote and I did a so I wrote a 20 page business plan 
and I, I did a 25 minutes presentation and it was on opening a fitness facility, opening a gym. Now the gym that I wrote it on was more of a commercial, you know, bigger facility than what we have now. But it's really cool to see that come full circle. So that was in 2016, I wrote that business plan. And then in 2022, six years later, I actually opened a gym. And so it's been, it's been pretty cool to see it come full circle. Obviously I've had other jobs and other, you know, things that I've done in, in the meantime, but it's cool to actually say that I, I do get to use my degree to an extent in what I do now. Um, but that wasn't the original intention. I think it just worked out well that way. <laughs> so kind of a cool story, but anyway, so we are rolling back over to the gym right now and I'm gonna be at the gym pretty much all the rest of the day. So I've got my meals packed up, I've got my workout clothes, got everything I need for the day. So just got freshened up, nice haircut. Now we've got uh, actually a meeting here in about 25 minutes so we will get to the gym have this first meeting and then eat a meal got another meeting coming up at three and then we're gonna be training after that so stay tuned all right back at the gym now and as you can see I've got enough stuff looks like I'm going on a trip this is my daily stuff that I carry around so I've got my all my meals in here for at least the next few meals. Got my water jug and my bag with my workout stuff. So we got this meeting starting in 10 minutes. So let's head in and get this going. chicken my eight ounce chicken and 360 grams of rice that's a fun one that's a lot of food <laughs> so I've got Jamie here Jamie is the promoter of the NPC premier muscle championships one of our newer shows um, we actually hosted a posing seminar here at American Muscle Factory for um, Jamie and all the athletes and the Premier Muscle Championships. So that's what we're having a meeting about today is we're just figuring out what well, we figuring out dates. We've got the, dates, athletes, what pros are going to be coming in. Yeah, we got what pros, just big events that we got going on next year. So starting to get a head start on that. And of course, we got to keep eating our meals. <laughs> we got to keep eating our food and getting our diet. Our food in, so I'm, I'm gonna get this meal in and keep on rolling. So this is pretty cool. This is a Fuad buddy of mine just uh, brought me this. He said he found it in an old collection of magazines he had. So we thought you'd get a kick out of seeing that. I don't even know what year this is from. What's it say on here? December of 2009. Sheesh. The 2009 December Muscular Development Magazine. Pretty sick. Oh, there he is right there. There's the man. So cool. Oh, they got Dorian in here. Oh, Blood and Guts. Cool. This is a this is a badass magazine. Yes, yeah, so this is pretty cool. I actually had a, a buddy of mine, one of my best friends, Shane. He uh, brought this to me. Said he he was actually moving and said he found this, so he wanted me to have it. So, Fuad, there you go, buddy. I got one of your mags right there. But no, I mean, I never. I mean, I didn't get into bodybuilding for sponsors or for. I never did it to chase the fame. Like I never got into bodybuilding for those reasons. I really just got into bodybuilding because I love training so much and. I loved, I was always a smaller guy and I didn't want to be small anymore. So 
training for me was always just a good outlet and a way for me to not get picked on and just build a better physique and a better me that I liked. Excuse me, just ate that meal, so a little bit full. <laughs> but no, I mean, like I said, I never, I never really anticipated even going pro. Like when I first started bodybuilding, I didn't even really ever think about becoming a pro or I didn't really know a whole lot about like bodybuilding and how that all worked. Um, I just knew I loved to train and I enjoyed, you know, I started taking like pre-workout and supplements and protein and creatine. I started reading all about that when I was young, probably, you know, at the end of high school. So like 2011, 2012. And from there, I just always just tried to enjoy training and having fun and it gradually just turned into something bigger and uh, something, you know, amazing that it is now for me. But, yeah, it's really cool to be on, on Hostile's team, on Fuad's team with Hostile. And I'm super blessed, and I have such a good time. It's a lot of fun. So that's it. But, yeah, so we're in my office now. And if you want to take a look around, give them a little quick... There you go, we got some hostile subs. That's my intro workout and stuff that I take. But yeah, so this is my domain. This is my chill out spot, my office. Got my computer here. So I do a lot of my, my work, but like I've got our software system for our gym up here so I can look up people's accounts and I can do point of sale stuff all right here. And we've got all of our hostile products on here as well. So right now it is almost 2.30. We just got done with that meeting with Jamie about uh, a posing seminar and a show that we've got coming up next year. We're going to be working on, on some things with them for. So that was that meeting. I've got a little bit over a half hour to uh, answer some client work and do some stuff with some of my Excel spreadsheets here. So I'm gonna get to work on this. And then in about 30 more minutes, we got one more meeting with our business coach coming up. So I'll introduce you guys to him. And uh, yeah, we'll get to work on some of that stuff and be right back. These are new ideas we've been coming up with. Yeah, yeah so we'll talk about that. But okay. anyway, yeah. you ready to roll? Yep, we're good. All right, guys, so it is, what time is it? Almost 3 o'clock? I think so. All right, guys, well, this is Dan. He is with 33 Coaching and Consulting. That's right. That's his company. He's a business mentor for us. We started working with him a month ago, two months ago? October 1st. Yeah, cool. So you know the dates. Yeah, than I, do. I can't yeah. keep track of everything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're having a business meeting today. We usually do these every couple weeks um, for American Muscle Factory and just keep us focused keep us on track with our goals. He's helping us kind of hit our revenue numbers and things that we want to do. Um, so it's great to have him here. And we'll kind of go through a meeting today. Mom's over there on the couch. Put her on camera. Put her on blast. Do it. <laughs> Hi. So anyway, we are going to have a, we're going to be doing a business meeting today. Um, you guys won't get to hear everything that's in this meeting but uh, we want to show you guys what's going on and give you a quick intro to Dan. Um, do you want to say anything about your, yeah, your company, your business? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, go for it. Appreciate it. Hey, yes, uh, Dan, Tom, Michael. I'm a professional certified coach with the International Coaching Federation. And we're kicking off 33 Coaching and Consulting. We've got a lot of projects on the, projects on the way. Um, come hit us up on the website. You can call me directly, text me directly, email me directly. Back to you, man. Thank yeah, you. so this is a great um, avenue for you guys. You know, if you are on young entrepreneurs or even just any age entrepreneurs or business people that need uh, business consulting, Dan's been a really, really great asset for us and keeping us focused and on track with our goals. So, um, just want to give him a little plug since this is a day in the life. I want to show you guys really all the odds and ends and things that we're doing um, with my everyday life and. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get our meeting started. So for now, back up out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys, meetings are done for the day. Those were fantastic. I'm glad you guys got to see a little bit of the uh, insight on kind of what goes on as far as, you know, American Muscle Factory and these other businesses and stuff. So love to give you guys a little bit of insight there. But we're going to get into my pre-workout meal. It's getting a little bit later, so I'm going to slam this meal real quick. I've got two scoops of the ISO H1 cookies and cream has just been kicking ass lately so we're gonna have two scoops of that we'll mix that up and then I also get in my pre-workout meal we got one of those Costco bakery muffins and I will get four ounces of blueberries as well so we're going to slam this meal and then we've got some chest and shoulders on the docket for today. So let's get it. I made the devil run. I gave him poison just for fun. I had one friend, now there's none. I made the devil run. I broke so many bones But none of them were ever my own They were in the army, I was alone uh, One more! I broke gotcha. so many bones Drive, finish the shit Stop Not, not over six, no. All right, let's let's do this real quick. So that's a wrap for the day. Freaking crushed that chest and shoulder workout. That was a fantastic workout. Um, we hit flat chest press. We hit the Cybex Smith machine for an incline bench. Uh, then we went into dumbbell hex presses, which we crushed those, went up to 75 pounds in each hand for that. Um, then we went into a little bit of delt work and we did uh, the side lateral machine. We supersetted that with cable flies and then we finished it off with some close grip, just uh, pump push-ups and um, some actual side lateral raises on the cable. Really, really great workout. Uh, but yeah, now we're sitting here and we were like, hey, let's figure out how many uh, calories I'm eating a day. <laughs> so we figured, I figured it up right now uh, in my off season. We're not pushing too hard yet, but calories are still really pretty high. I'm at 5,625 calories on the day. And my macros currently are 365 protein. 135 grams of fat and 700 grams of carbs yeah buddy gotta eat to grow baby gotta eat to grow so that's it it is now about seven o'clock i'm gonna eat my post-workout meal wrap up here at the gym and head on home so that's a day in the life pretty much i mean when i get home i'm pretty much just chilling out 
answering a little bit more client updates and then um, just eating, eating meals and going to bed. Like I said, guys, that's a wrap for a day in the life. I really hope you enjoyed that and that gave you a little bit of insight on what my day looks like currently in the off season and with uh, American Muscle Factory and my coaching stuff. So you guys need to, as always, pick up any of your supplements. Visit hostile.com. You can get all your subs there. You can get these oversized tees, blender bottles, accessories, you name it. We got it. Hostile.com. We'll see you guys next time.